Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and what I want to do is walk you through a few of our practice exam questions just to give you an, an idea of what it will be like on the real exam and where we might have had to make some adjustments to help your study. So what you'd have to do to access this uh, practice exam is you'd have to be uh, signed up and logged in to the ExamPro platform, make your way over to the HashiCorp uh, Terraform course, accept the free tier or pay for full access. But once you go there, you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and you should see three or four practice exams at the time of writing this. We're still writing the questions, so that's why they're not shown in the video here. But what I want you to do is to go to the first practice exam and notice that there are 57 questions. You get an hour uh, on, on the exam here and we have a breakdown based on domain. Now the percentage is not something that uh, Terraform or HashiCorp provides. So we just had to break it down based on the coverage of questions that we saw in the exam guide outline. And so that should be accurate enough. And that's kind of what it felt like on the exam. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem. If we click into here, we're just gonna look at some of the questions and I'll talk around them. So the first one here is we have, how do you create a workspace? And it's showing us a bunch of CLI commands. And so on the exam, you do need to know um, uh, you know, CLI commands and the difference of them. And the questions can be as simple as this, where you're just choosing the option. And some are uh, obvious distractors, like there is isn't, there is no one called Terraform Workspace Branch, okay? So just understand that you not just need to know the conceptual ideas behind Terraform, but also it in practice, okay? Another one here would be the Terraform registry can search based on the following search terms. We have an option to choose multiple uh, questions. And so this is something that you will see on the exam where you're choosing multiples of something. I didn't get a lot on my exam, but I cannot say for certain, like how many questions would show up like this. Um, but you know, they're not really that hard to figure out. Okay. And this question is about um, a tool or sorry, uh, the uh, public Terraform registry website. And that is just a, uh, a, a public facing website. If we go to registry.terraform.io here, it's this website here. So it's not just the tooling of Terraform itself, but it's the ecosystem around it. So Terraform Cloud, the Terraform Registry, things like that. Another type of question you will see, and I think it's over here, is what they will do is they'll ask you to fill in the blank. Now we don't have that support in our platform just as of yet, but the idea is they'll say like, okay, uh, we'll ask you a question or we'll even give you, um, Maybe they'll have like underscores and they'll say, fill in this thing. And you'll literally have to type the answer in, but the answer is going to be like a one word answer. So um, on the exam, I literally had a question, which was like, where is the API stored? And it was actually terraform.tf state, but I did not know, I could not recall the name of it, which is kind of embarrassing, but uh, you know, that is the level of fill-ins that you'll have to do. And you're very likely to see some code on the, on the, uh, the exam too. So if I just click through here really quickly, you may see a code block. Okay, and you might have to decipher it. So that's the difficulty of the exam. I would not say this is a hard exam, but you just have to understand the scope of those kind of questions and make sure that you have well-rounded study in both practical and conceptual concepts of Terraform. So hopefully that helps you out, okay?